Hi, this is Jay Lehman, the herb manager at South Mountain Creamery, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about one of the very, very important aspects of our farm, the baby cows. The mom cows are moved to the maternity ward three weeks before they give birth and fed a very nutritious diet, rich in vitamins and minerals to help them prepare for the stress of calving. The high levels of vitamin E and selenium help build their mammary system and prepare them to produce the maximum number of nutrients in their colostrum which gets their baby off to a great start. Our mom cows normally give birth by themselves. The average baby weighs 90 pounds. Sometimes it can be quite stressful. We're always on hand and always keeping an eye to help them out if they need. Probably less than 10% of the moms and their babies need to be helped, but we're there ready at any given time. When the baby is born, we leave it with the mom for several hours, and the mom can groom it, can clean it off, help it get its circulation going, help it to breathe, and then we take it to the calf barn where we're able to monitor it better. The baby is, fe is fed a gallon of colostrum, it's vaccinated, it's tagged for identification, and put in a nice clean pen. Holstein mamas don't seem to mind as much when their babies are moved away from them. They're bred for production. They aren't like a beef mama that's bred for mothering instincts. The calf lives in the calf barn for about six to eight weeks. The, big, the first several weeks of its life, it's in an individual pen where we monitor it very closely. Remember, these are very young babies, and just like a human baby, they're very susceptible to diseases and sicknesses. So when they're in the individual pen, we can monitor exactly their intake. Every day and many times a day, we're keeping very close track of them. How much are they eating? Do they look like they're breathing normally? Are their eyes shining? Do they jump up and are they ready for the bottle? After they're three or four weeks old, they're moved to a larger group pen and we start to teach them to socialize with other calves. The socialization helps them grow as well as the competition. When there's competition, buck each other away to get to the food and it helps them grow and helps them consume more feed. They're placed in groups of five or six and they learn to socialize with them and then they're moved to groups of maybe 10 or 12 and they learn to socialize with a bigger group and from there they're on to groups of 30 or 40 or maybe even 50 romping around the pasture. I hope you've enjoyed Cow Week. We work every day to keep our animals clean, happy, and comfortable. The health of our animals is our top priority.